In this video, we're going to do analysis of the NYSE tick and trade station. This is a daily chart of the NYSE tick. The NYSE tick is an indicator that will tell you the the um, number of stocks on the NYSE in an uptick minus those in a downtick at any given time. And there are about 3,700 stocks on the NYSE. And you see the current tick value is minus 283. Here is a zero number. It oscillates between zero and typically plus a thousand and minus a thousand. It can go beyond those thousand point thresholds, but rarely does it. It does not stay. It usually, um, I mean, the zero is the um, middle point that it continues to gravitate towards. So one extreme or the other could indicate a buy signal in a momentum market or a oversold or overbought condition in a counter trending market. And so we're going to do analysis of tick. And one of our strategies, Tick Pulse, uses this, and so that's why we're doing this analysis, and we're removing that from the portfolio because it uses it as momentum, and the Tick is not signaling any momentum trades at all. It is doing a much better job of sending signaling counter trend trades, and that is why we're removing that strategy. I want to do this analysis to show you that further, um, but first I want to show you what it looks like on an intraday chart. So on a one-minute chart, here's what it looks like. So the start of the day is here. And you see um, the ticks. And it's interesting because it has not ticked below zero at all today. Um, and so th this um, the NYC tick used to be um, used to oscillate a lot more around zero. And now it almost looks more like a price chart a lot of times instead of more of an oscillating indicator. And so it's, it's um, losing its effectiveness, I think, currently in a low VIX environment. And we'll be checking back with that. But right now, um, we don't like to use this um, necessarily the way we currently use it. It's possible that you could still use it. Order fill. So for Order example, today, fill. Um, this is an ex excellent time to um, potentially take take a long signal if it's above zero. It's 2.30 Eastern time, and it has yet to tick below zero. It's very bullish. Um, on a day like today, in general, Tick Pulse did well on a day like today. Um, it's a blow off gap, gap away, gap continuation day, but um, in general, it's not done well in a uh, the current market environment that we're in. So, I want to analyze the daily charts and show you what we're looking at. So, here is the daily chart. This light blue line, or the light, or the red line right here is the average median of the last 50 days highs. So it took the average median of the last 50 days, or took the median of the last 50 days highs, not the average, but the median of the last 50 days highs is the red line, and the median of the last 50 days lows is the blue line. And so you can see those, those lines coming together, um, converging, and you see this line, this is a marker at 853. Um, that was a value, I'm gonna change that, I'm gonna show you what I'm doing in the easy language. Actually, I'm having trouble with the easy language editor, but um, what, this, what these are, the median values of the lows, median values of the highs, and this yellow line is the, um, the difference between the median of the highs and the median of the lows, it's plotted above here. And you see 1395 is the difference, and if we scroll back, and we take a look at this, it's decreasing. It's a decreasing number. And if we go back 20 years, you see that uh, it has not, it's at its lowest point since 2002. So you see um, this yellow line, which is the difference between the, high, the median highs and the median lows. And it's 1396. So if you scroll back, Put that right there, and actually I'm going to put this uh, line right there on 13, on that point right there, and we're going to scroll back. You don't see the yellow line come down to that that uh, difference until 2002. So in 2002, you see that difference closing in, but since then we are at our lowest in 15 years as far as the spread between the median highs and lows and the way this moves and so it's kind of a dead indicator right now for momentum trades in my opinion the way we're using it so we're moving tick pulse and exhaust in reverse 
from all the portfolios for now and the timing was we sent out an email was maybe a little off because those strategies have done well today but we're looking at the long term picture of this um, this the tick pulse has caused the um, has caused the portfolios to go into a worst case drawdowns a lot of a lot of bad trades buying at the highs and selling at the lows and so it's the tick pulse strategy is at its worst case drawdown and so this that for that reason alone is why we're removing it further justification based on this analysis of the NYSE tick.